So, hello everyone. Sorry for my voice. <coughs> I am Ilya Zverev from Maps.me, and uh, today I will talk about pain and disappointment, also known as OpenStreetMap. <laughs> so, OpenStreetMap is really the best map there is. I think most of you know it. It is very big. It has striving and amazing community. You can find anything on the map, uh, from places and borders to roads to, I don't know, street lamps and manholes. So if you need anything, just go to OpenStreetMap and uh, you will find it there. And a lot of people are using OpenStreetMap now and uh, a lot more think are thinking of using it. And the thing is, uh, uh, when you are using OpenStreetMap for a long time, so soon you find yourself regretting that you are using it <laughs> because uh, from a distance OSM seems like a perfect map but when you use it you see that it has a lot of flaws some small some big uh, I can name just a hundred <laughs> uh, so it got awful data model it's uh, uh, the tagging is inconsistent, and uh, the quality varies from city to city. You may, your village may be mapped perfectly, the next one is just a couple roads, and so on. So, uh, the reason for all of this uh, is because OpenStreetMap is made by mappers and for mappers. And uh, uh, everything OpenStreetMap is, is decided uh, by mappers. So the data model is very simple when you need to learn it into map. Just points, lines, tags, and uh, attributes of, fe of features uh, are also very easy. You just uh, upload some random strings and th the feature is uh, present on the map. Uh, but when you then need to use the map, it turns out that what is uh, easy for mapping is not as easy for using the map. <laughs> uh, as I said, the data format is awful, and uh, the opposite map is always broken because from simple concepts, mappers tend to build very complex ab abstractions, very complex tagging schemes like, uh, I don't know, road lanes or public transport or uh, route relations or anything actually. <laughs> Yeah, 3D building is an excellent example. Yeah, so uh, this is my story about one of these complex abstractions that I tried to pull from OpenStreetMap. It's about subways. <coughs> so I work in MapsMe. Uh, th that is a cool offline application that uses OpenStreetMap. And uh, once uh, every couple of years, we uh, uh, leave our cities, leave our families for a couple of days uh, to eat uh, meat steaks, to ride bicycles, and to code days and nights long. It's a kind of small hackathon. So uh, this year there was a small team with which I was working. We worked, uh, we, we thought it would be fun to add subway maps into Maps.me. Just uh, offline maps with uh, routing, with, I don't know, map. <laughs> uh, there were people who worked on routing, on design, on uh, rendering. I was working on data. So, uh, and pulling subway data from OpenStreetMap is quite easy. You get objects uh, like uh, station equals subway, and this subway station, <laughs> great. And uh, you download route relations which uh, order the station from first one to last. So you have stops, uh, you have the coordinates, and uh, uh, for interchanges you can just uh, get uh, find stations that are uh, really close to each other. So uh, I, in a couple of days I made a script that downloads this from OpenStreetMap, uh, converts it to a simple format of lines and points, and for Moscow, it worked pretty well. In the next day, I 
uh, use my free time to process uh, uh, some other cities like Seoul, Barcelona, Minsk, and so on. And we got a pretty fine <coughs> rendering of all of that. And I overheard that uh, our CEO said that if uh, he likes the result, then it will, it will be uh, included into MapsMe itself. And I thought, um, we shouldn't allow that. Uh, so on the final day, w when we had uh, presentations from each of the groups, uh, I especially spent, yeah, it, it's, the screen was very strange. <coughs> uh, I specifically spent five minutes talking about why uh, pulling subway from OpenStreetMap is especially a bad idea and nobody ha should do it because the data in OpenStreetMap is always broken because it's relations and nobody knows how to uh, use this and yeah so y y you shouldn't so the hackathon ended we all we went home and in a month our product manager comes to me and says uh, well, we're doing subways. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, what, what could I answer? Okay, doing subways. <laughs> <coughs> so to pull subways from OpenStreetMap to use all this mess, uh, I needed a plan. Uh, at first, this was my plan. Uh, then I thought, uh, well, I, I need to write validator. <laughs> What, what is a validator? Validator is a website that's regularly updated that downloads OpenStreetMap data and checks it for correctness. We have a lot of validators in OpenStreetMap. It's uh, administrative borders, checks that they are not broken. It's places like cities and towns. Uh, it's roads. Uh, it's everything, actually. So I need to make a validator that uh, checks that subways are mapped correctly. And what do we start with? Well, first, it's, uh, I need to see where are the subways, so w where to look for these relations. So I open Wikipedia, obviously. Uh, and uh, Wikipedia has a lot of lists. Of course, there was a list of metro systems. And I clicked on every uh, metro system there is in Wikipedia and found out there are 180 systems in the world. That subways, uh, light rails, uh, urban trains, and so on. So I prepared a spreadsheet uh, with uh, city, number of lines, number of stations, and bounding box. Yeah, uh, pretty handy spreadsheet and for each of these networks. And now the next task, how to get the data from OpenStreetMap. Well, the chart I showed before with stations and lines, uh, that's, uh, that is a very simple option. And we don't use this. Opposite map is not simple. So uh, this is more complex, no, not uh, the full schema, but uh, uh, this is a subway station. So subway station and as part of the route contains of uh, railway tracks from, for both sides, uh, platform, obviously, uh, stop position the train stops and uh, a point for station itself. It's not a physical point, but it has all the data on the station, like its name. And also there are entrances where you should enter to uh, go to the station. Uh, right. And there are subway routes, which include some of these. So first thing is uh, these are all uh, disconnected uh, separate objects. So how do you know from a stop that it belongs to a station or m more importantly from entrance? So all of these are joined with a stop area relation. Relations in OpenStreetMap just group some things. Uh, and then interchanges. So when uh, two stations are close to each other, or you can go through a tunnel from one to another, then there are two stop areas, like I said, and the, these are grouped also in a bigger relation. Relation of relations, you know, OpenStreetMap has simple data model, but very hard to use. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, uh, and this is stop area group relation. But wait, there was no stop area group relation. Uh, so you know, OpenStreetMap has a public transport uh, mapping schema. Uh, it has two versions actually. There was version one, version two, uh, and turns out there was no way of mapping subway interchanges. So in nine years, uh, people were mapping subways in OpenStreetMap. No one has thought of uh, mapping. Uh, whether you can switch from one station to another, which shows that no, nobody even tried to use it for routing because it's important information. So how do we add stop area groups? Well, you make a proposal. Taking proposals is a fine topic for 10 other talks. Uh, but ba basically, uh, you write that uh, I, I propose to add this type of relation uh, and so on and so on. So I wrote a very big wiki page, uh, obvious error from my side, uh, on tagging subway stations and lines. Everything from station node entrances to railway tracks to stop areas to stop area groups and so on and so on. So a person who visits it and reads it uh, immediately knows uh, well, which tags to use. And uh, it uh, proposed some changes, obviously. Uh, so. I wrote all that uh, and uh, published it so people could discuss it. And there was a, a very big discussion over several mailing lists and chats and so on. Uh, the discussion page in Wiki was around 50 kilobytes. And uh, well, that, that's uh, OSM community, you get, get to used to it. So uh, and I, I learned a lot from the discussion. I was constantly changing the proposal to accommodate things. For example, I learned that there are three types of interchanges, not one. Uh, one ter interchange when you just uh, exit a train, don't go anywhere, wait for next train for a different line. And interchange when you have to go to the tunnel to change platform and use it. Or where, when you have to leave one station, go to the surface and enter another. And so on. Uh, this and previous pictures are all from the proposal. I tried to make it as simple as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, meanwhile, I was working on the validator, as, as I said before. And it was coming along nicely. So, the thing I did was download uh, the planet, you know, 38 gigabytes of compressed data, uh, filter it out so it has only subway related data half a gigabyte, uh, and read it, uh, sort uh, features by bounding boxes from the spreadsheet, and it prepares uh, this structure in the memory. So, so for each network, uh, there are a number of routes. Uh, routes contain several variants, like uh, forward to backward dire direction. There are track stops. Uh, each stops basically contains uh, coordinates and stop area. You know what stop area is, hope. Stop area has stations uh, with all information for station and of course there are transfers. Right. And I ran this validator against uh, the planet OpenStreetMap and how many meta networks were mapped uh, reasonably well? Well, not much. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, uh, of 180. So and the release was planned like in two months, so how do we speed this up? So what did we do? We hired students. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> just a couple. I wrote a long document, uh, tutorial on how to map subway stations. And uh, meanwhile, I also sat behind the computer and uh, oh, hang, uh, and to start map fixing some bugs myself. Uh, yeah, my computer is very slow, sorry. Top of the line MacBook and it can't show animated GIF. It's <laughs> um, a moment. Uh, okay, so in a month we had 40 networks. And awesome, it uh, looks like we're progressing fine. Uh, but at that time I felt like I'm failing on all fronts. And why is that? Because the proposal was put to voting and it failed. Because there are many mappers in OpenStreetMap. You know, it's got a community of hundred thousands. 
and everyone had an opinion on the proposal, what to improve, what to change. Some people didn't like color, some people didn't like, I don't know, nose versus waist and so on. So it got rejected. Well, my fault, it was too big. Uh, students also uh, weren't worked uh, as much as I hoped. They were making mistakes, they didn't finish their job. Well, I'm not good as a mentor, but still. So what did I do? I went mapping myself. For, for uh, three weeks, I was fixing and fixing errors. I was processing networks uh, in cities like London, Berlin, Paris, and so on and so on. And uh, finally, in December, we released MapsMe with uh, many uh, subway networks, almost every network in Europe, <coughs> and some in uh, Iran, Japan, and so on. So, yeah, that's a win. It uh, uh, looks quite pretty. From last week, it also works in Brussels, so you can plot your route to the center of the city from here, for example. Well, you can't, since there are no subway stations nearby. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, as for proposal, I'm uh, currently making a second try with much smaller, much uh, simpler proposal. I hope it will work. And we, uh, as of this week, we've got 120 good networks. And why is that? It's not that I, I went to fix all of this. Uh, it just we published maps here, and people from OpenStreetMaps started using the validator and started fixing errors themselves. So we've got uh, almost all of uh, South and North America covered, including USA. We've got uh, 60 networks in Europe uh, ready to use. But of course, this uh, won't last. And as I said before, more, once, more and more, OpenStreetMap is always broken. If unattended, uh, all relations will perish and be obsolete. And that's why, why uh, we need you to help with this. And wh what can you do? Well, mm -hmm. you, you see there's a website link. First, of course, you can map. Uh, no, not only uh, open just editor and fix some errors from validator, but also if you know that uh, in some subway network there are uh, new stations opened or closed or something changed, then you should go to the spreadsheet and update numbers so we know, so mappers know that something has to be updated. And second, most of you here are developers. So please, uh, all of the things I am talking about are open source. The validator and pro processor are published on GitHub. <coughs> are published at GitHub. You can download a JSON file with all the networks that's uh, generated twice a day and use it in your application. If you're making a map, you can do offline routing with the data. If you're, you, you can write a new application that you know, uh, shows where, where can you get from here using subway networks. And all of this is from OpenStreetMap, so it's open and usable. Right. and. What's for this year? Well, our product manager came to me <laughs> a few weeks ago and said, well, great job on subways. Uh, how, how about, I don't know, trams maybe? <laughs> yeah, so this year, I guess, we'll have uh, even more data from OpenStreetMap and hopefully not as broken as it was before. So thank you. <laughs> We have time, like five minutes for questions. Um, so, so my experience with OpenStreetMap data is that it only works if you use it. Because, I mean, if, if somebody just adds some data and then forgets about it, then, you, well, it's garbage. It, it's only when there's a group of people who use it every day that, that oh, this is stupid, so we, we fix it. So, so I think before you go out and fix all the data, it's to make the applications and tell, tell people, OK, start using it, it's now broken, and then get the people uh, to fix it, because otherwise it, it just doesn't work. No, no mm. few people are crazy enough to give, really go over all the timetables and compare it with what is an open team. So, okay, this number is wrong now. Mm. It's not how people work. You're correct, but this is a bit of chicken and egg problem, because MapsMe 
is used by 10 million people every month. So do you really want to take this broken data from OpenStreetMap and uh, give it to 10 million people? Uh, they might be not as satisfied. Probably. Yes, I'm pretty sure I'm first to use any public transport data from OpenStreetMap, not just for highlighting roads uh, that have buses and so trains, but to use the data for navigation. Where did you get the timetable information? Nowhere. I just uh, took, s imagined few numbers, like uh, 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 took s some random numbers and uh, <laughs> produced to uh, some kind of timetable. But uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, with, with subways, you can be pretty sure that uh, there are trains uh, every two to five minutes. So it's uh, not an issue with subways. Of course, it will be an issue when we do trains, for example. But uh, we'll think of something. <laughs> Do we use other validators for MapsMear? Um, not actually. Tests were never our strong side. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we, uh, after building our offline data, we checked that our car roads uh, were not broken and uh, some other tests, but not as comprehensive as uh, subway tests uh, for this project. Because most of the data can be used uh, pretty easily. They uh, don't require such uh, testing. What about the option to use GPS uh, I think the question was, uh, could we use GTFS data for this? Uh, very few subways in the world have GTFS. Like uh, of 180, uh, my best guess w would be 20, 30. So uh, in most cases, GFS is absent. It's a privilege for North America and Western Europe, I think more. So we, we would use it if there was such data. But of course, we have plans to employ GTFS uh, in the future for other types of public transport. We as a company don't because we don't have a single mapper <laughs> uh, employed, but uh, people, uh, mappers from Opposite Map are free to do it. Uh, there are tags for ticket machines and for everything actually. And whether we would use the data, I have no idea. If you submit uh, many bug reports about this, uh, then I think it may get into roadmap. <laughs> Uh, sorry, what is open? We uh, all the things that I was talking about is open. So the code is on GitHub, and uh, the data uh, it prepares for MapsMe is, is, is also published on the internet. You can just lo look into it, uh, look how, uh, uh, how I make the fake ta timetables and <laughs> distances. So I, I, it's all on GitHub. So I, if you can visit, uh, 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 sorry, it's very slow. Uh, pt.smz.ru. Uh, all the links are there. <laughs> it, it's just a small website I uh, hacked up uh, last night. So it's not very fancy, but it has all the links. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, one more question. <laughs> Well, uh, can users change data with maps.me? Uh, 
uh, we have an OSM editor inside MapsMe, uh, but it uh, can be used only for adding new venues or changing tags on exi existing venues. Uh, as for subways, uh, the data model is too complex to allow editing from mobile device. I don't even recommend uh, editing it through with uh, web editor on opposite web website. Jossum and only Jossum. So, <laughs> uh, no, we won't allow editing subway data from the application. You have to go through proper editor. Okay, I guess. Thank you, everyone.